Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about paying for games and that is from Magic Duels as well as Magic Online and so I, you guys know I'm not a fan of Magic the Gathering Online and I quit after Vintage, Mas Vintage Masters fiasco. That was horrible. I was like, holy sh crap, this is like, you know, I mean, I, I start, started going heavily into Magic and I was like, oh, I can play, you know, Vintage or I can play Legacy. But for the most part, I mean, it, it didn't work out the way I expected. So I'm going to show you my Pokemon account. And I do spend money on Pokemon, and I don't know if you can see this, but it has gold coins, as my Lapras. Um, and I spend about 40 bucks a month on Pokemon. Probably like, some months I spend 20, but since it's, it's only been out for a little bit of time, and that to me is fine. Like, I spend my money, I used to spend my money on Magic Duels until it went down, and now I don't know if it's, like, reliable. Like, as soon as, like, if I play Kaladesh and there's no problems in Magic Duels, I will spend money on Magic Duels buying the entire card collection. So a lot of times, uh, people will make these claims that Magic the Gathering Online is, like, a scam, and it's an online game, but that's how online games work. That's how mobile games work. Like, I used to play Class of the Class... No, class of clans, right? And that is how it worked. You bought coins to build your little town and you attack. Now I'm playing like the dual version of it. Um, and my friends, uh, a lot of Magic players play these online games and there's nothing wrong with paying for it. I know a lot of times people will say, why do you pay for Pokemon Go? You should just, you know, go around the little centers. I live in the middle of nowhere. There are no Pokestops, there are no gyms. There's nothing for... Um, me to do but I still want to play the game I still want to go play Pokemon and I can drive out to um, Kemba walkway which is amazing for Pokemon uh, and it has some of the best seafood restaurants too uh, and it has a carnival and games that you can play like actual carnival games which is always fun and they're very much Pokemon themed for the pluses which I appreciate so yeah and I go down there for a whole day with my friends, uh, with a girlfriend, with my other friends, and we go play Pokemon. But I, you know, if it's today and it's a Sunday and I don't want to travel, I just want to play Pokemon, I will just go ahead and buy some Pokeballs, I'll buy some incubators, and I'll go on my way. And I enjoy the game. So if you're paying for entertainment, there's no reason to feel bad for it. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I feel, I pay for Magic. I never felt bad playing for Magic the Gathering drafts. That's just a cost of the entertainment. I did feel bad when I was lied to by Magic the Gathering Online and a lot of the promises they, or the pseudo promises they made were um, tainted, if you will, and now we're, we have treasure chests, great. Um, but you know, I, I would say at this point in time, Magic Online is way too volatile. And so I'm making this video on a Sunday and the prices of Magic the Gathering Online cards have plummeted. Uh, Tom McGoy has fallen $14 uh, for a card that's only like a $50 card. That is substantial. And yeah, so I don't have any problem with paying for Magic Duels. I don't have any problem playing for Pokemon Go. And it's just a fun game. Like if you're going to play a game and it's a freemium game, I know a lot of people are criticizing that model, but that model makes sense to me. You can have some players with more money and they can spend money and that will subsidize the rest of the players. I think that's what Magic Duels is. Um, you can play Magic Duels without paying a single cent. You can do daily challenges and get the coins, but yeah, obviously it's a lot easier, in my opinion, a lot more fun when I can play with the new cards as soon as they come out than if I have to wait and save up all the coins. And, and you know, they understand that because all the challenges are based on the new cards. So when people criticize Magic Online as well as Magic Duels or Pokemon Go for spending like money on coins and stuff, I don't see that as a problem at all because that's entertainment. Like instead of going to a movie, you spend money on coins. Anyway, bye guys.